you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to the Steve Jobs Theater. We've always believed that by giving people wonderful tools, you enable them to do wonderful things. At Apple, we put the customer at the center of everything that we do with products and technologies that are designed in the service of humanity. Innovations that enrich people's lives to help them learn, create, work, play, share, and stay healthy. Through the deep integration of hardware, software, and services, these products empower people to do incredible things every day. We have a huge morning planned for you with some truly big announcements. So I'm going to just, yeah. So I'm going to dispense of my usual updates and get right into it, beginning with the App Store. We're, we're adding a whole new way to enjoy games on the App Store with Apple Arcade. We've joined forces with the world's most innovative game developers to push the boundaries of what's possible. To tell you all about Apple Arcade, I'd like to invite Ann to the stage. Ann. Thanks, Tim. We are thrilled to launch Apple Arcade on the App Store, the world's first game subscription service for mobile, desktop, and TV. Apple Arcade is the only place you can get unlimited access to over 100 groundbreaking, exclusive new games made for iPhone, iPad, Mac, and Apple TV. You can't find these games on any other mobile platform or subscription service. No game service has ever launched as many games at once, and we can't wait for you to play all of them. Instead of paying upfront for each game, your subscription lets you download and play any Apple Arcade game right from the App Store. It all starts with the App Store's brand new Arcade tab, where you can discover the latest Apple Arcade games with new games added every month. Get personalized recommendations, watch game trailers, and get expert editorial content like game guides and sneak peeks. This collection of awesome games covers so many genres and play styles, so everyone in the family can count on finding games they love on Apple Arcade. We are really excited to show you a few today. First up are our partners at Konami, who have delighted players for decades. Their next game is sure to be a hit for the whole family. Please welcome Konami brand manager Benjamin Kinney to tell you more. Thanks, Anne. Everybody loves Frogger. That's why together with Q Games, Konami could not be more excited to bring our title to Apple Arcade, Frogger in Toy Town. In this level, we find ourselves in bathroom, and Frogger has to rescue some of his froglet friends. Like classic Frogger, there are many obstacles in the way. However, now you can find power-ups, like this bomb, that you can use to clear the path ahead of you. You'll also notice we're collecting jelly beans. That is a fun and important part of gameplay, but I'll tell you more about that here in a little while. So the physics are incredible. See how the blocks bob up and down in real time when you jump on them? And look, we rescued another frog with friend. You will have dozens of different outfits that you can put your frogger in. Today, we have picked this adorable bathing suit. Isn't he cute? Whoa, what is that? Is that a giant baby wearing sunglasses? He is making a mess. Let's try to go around him. Now, you remember those jelly beans from earlier? Well, when you collect 100, you unlock Super Frogger.
All right, all right, enough of that. We've got the last froglet to rescue. And we did it. Great job. Frogger and Toy Time will be available at launch, and we cannot wait for you to play with your friends and family exclusively on Apple Arcade. Thank you. Thanks, Benjamin. Frogger looks adorable. Next up is legendary game studio Capcom. Their new game brings console quality graphics and gameplay to a whole new audience. To tell you more, please welcome Capcom producer Peter Fabiano. Thanks, Ryan. With Shin Sekai Into the Depths, we set out to create a beautiful yet treacherous underwater world. The world above is covered in ice. You have no choice but to search the ocean below. This is humanity's last survivor. You'll notice gauges at the top that indicate air, health, and depth. You'll need to be thoughtful and careful as you traverse the new world. You can use thrusters to navigate or get to safety. While searching for resources, our explorer encounters a terrifying creature, which is why it's ever important that you maintain your oxygen levels. Lucky for us, our little drone is here to help us out. We crafted every detail of the world to make it feel authentic and immersive. In fact, we recorded music and sound effects underwater. Let's give it a listen. Shinsekai's controls are simple, yet mastering shooting while thrusting will challenge even the most seasoned gamer. The underwater physics and the creature's unpredictable attacks make battle both challenging and a blast. You'll have to find out what happens next by playing Shinsekai Into the Depths. We're bringing our brand of game design to a new, wider, global audience, both at home and on mobile. Available only on Apple Arcade. Thank you. Wow, thanks, Peter. That was beautiful. Our last demo is from Annapurna Interactive, known for innovative games that break the mold. Their next game is truly one of a kind. To tell you more, please welcome Annapurna Interactive producer, Kelsey Hansen. Thanks, Ann. We are teaming up with Samogo to bring their creative, ambitious new game to Apple Arcade. Sayonara Wild Hearts is a fast-paced, neon pop music dreamscape. We like to think of it as a playable music video. Let's jump in. You play as our heartbroken heroine as she races to win back her heart. In this level, our heroine is chasing after the stereo lover. You'll seamlessly transition back and forth between rhythm-based tapping and high-speed racing. You as the player will never actually be moving the camera, but playing as the perspectives automatically change makes this game challenging and so much fun. The battle and storytelling are interwoven with the music, making sure you never miss a beat. To add to the excitement, collecting hearts will increase your rank. The more hearts you collect, the higher your score will be. Sensing defeat, the twins up the ante and transform their swords into a giant jet in an attempt to escape. But our heroine has other ideas. With one flash of her sword, our heroine defeats the stereo lovers. She reclaims a piece of her heart and steals a piece of ours. We hope you enjoy Sayonara Wild Hearts on Apple Arcade. Thank you.
Thank you, Kelsey. What an awesome soundtrack. These three talented partners joined so many more amazing developers bringing new games to Apple Arcade this year. Apple Arcade is available starting on September 19th. And that's in over 150 countries around the world. We'll be introducing over 100 new games to our launch catalog in the weeks ahead. So how much does unlimited access to all these amazing games cost? Just $4.99 a month for the whole family. And we're launching with a one-month free trial. We hope you have a blast playing all the incredible games on Apple Arcade. Thanks, and back to you, Tim. Thank you, Anne. Apple Arcade is a gaming service unlike any other out there. We can't wait to start playing when it launches later this month. Next up, let's talk about Apple TV Plus. Our mission for Apple TV Plus is to bring you the best original stories from the most creative minds in television and film. Stories that help you find inspiration, that are grounded in emotion, truly stories to believe in, stories with purpose. This summer, we released three trailers for a few of our premier originals, like For All Mankind, an innovative reimagination of the space race, and Dickinson, starring Haley Steinfeld, a coming-of-age story about Emily Dickinson told in a completely modern way, and The Morning Show, with its blockbuster cast starring Reese Witherspoon, Steve Carell, and Jennifer Aniston in her first TV series since Friends. The reaction to these trailers has been incredible. They've been viewed over a hundred million times. In fact, the trailer for the morning show is one of the most watched trailers for any new television show ever. This is incredible. And the new issue of Entertainment Weekly calls the morning show fall's most anticipated series. This morning, I want to share with you one of the most imaginative, thrilling, and thought-provoking dramas ever. Sea stars Jason Momoa, and it takes place hundreds of years into the future in a world without sight. We worked with blind and low vision cast, crew, and consultants who provided the detail and the authenticity for how this world should be defined. Today, I am so excited to share with you the worldwide premiere trailer for C. Centuries from now, almost all humans have lost the ability to see. Some say sight was taken from them by God. To heal the earth. For the few who remain, vision is only a myth. But after so many years, the power of sight has returned. What is it? Something's different. The children, they have the ability to see. children. They have power that we would call magical or evil. We must protect them. For centuries, we feared this day would come. The evil of light once almost destroyed the world. And now it has returned. Find the children who can see. And bring them to me. If we get the babies, they might leave us alone. No! I stand with Bubba Boss! Yeah. 
These children are a gift. They will bring knowledge. They will begin a new world. We are family. We are one. And we fight as one. This moment can change an entire world. I hope that you can, thank you. I hope that you can get a sense of why I love that show, and I think that you will too. Now, these are just a few of the exclusive originals from the exciting Apple TV Plus lineup. With Apple TV Plus, you'll get access to these and so many more, the best movies, comedies, dramas, and kids shows. Now, I know that some of you have been wondering, when will Apple TV Plus be available and how much will it cost? Well, today, we're excited to tell you that the first shows will be available on November 1st, and we'll be, thank you, and we'll be adding more Apple Originals every month, and it, Apple TV Plus will be available in over 100 countries at launch. And it is just $4.99 per month for your whole family. That's... of these incredible shows for the price of a single movie rental. This is crazy. <laughs> we are so excited about Apple TV Plus that we wanted to do something really special. And so starting today, when you buy an iPhone, an iPad, a Mac, or an Apple TV, you'll get one year of Apple TV Plus included for free. So we can't wait for you to start watching Apple TV Plus on November 1st in the Apple TV app across all of your screens. That's Apple TV Plus. Now let's turn our attention to iPad. When, when we created iPad, we set out to design something truly unique, a product that you could take with you everywhere and that it's so fun and so easy to use. And now with hundreds and hundreds of millions of iPads out in the world, iPad is transforming the way we create, learn, work, and play. This has been a huge year for iPad. We've revamped our entire lineup, starting with the new iPad mini all the way up to the powerful iPad Pros. And we pushed what people could do with iPad further than ever before with the introduction of iPadOS. iPadOS is an advanced operating system with a new name to recognize the distinctive experience of iPad. Of course, iPadOS builds on the same, same foundation as iOS, but adds powerful new capabilities and intuitive features that are specific to the large display and versatility of the iPad. iPad's unique integration of hardware software with over one million apps that are specifically designed to take advantage of the large canvas provide an experience that you won't find on any other device out there. We have never been more excited about the future of iPad. And to tell you about the newest iPad, I'd like to invite JAWS to the stage. Jaws. Thanks, Tim. Thank you, thank you. We're incredibly excited about iPad OS and our entire iPad lineup. 
but today I want to talk to you about our most popular iPad. The 9.7 inch delivers so much versatility at such an affordable price. And it brings more new users to our iPad than any other model. In fact, for nearly 60% of these users, this is their very first iPad. And we're about to make this iPad a whole lot better because we're replacing the sixth generation iPad with this, the new seventh generation iPad. This is a big upgrade with some great new features, and it's designed to make the most out of iPad OS. Of course, the iPad is a magical piece of glass. It can become almost anything we want it to be. So the display is so important to the iPad experience, and we're making the display even bigger. This iPad has a new, larger, 10.2-inch retina display. And it has nearly 3.5 million pixels. When you compare it to this, the top-selling PC laptop in the US for the first half of this year, I know, I know. <laughs> this display has more than three times the number of pixels, plus greater brightness, and a much wider viewing angle, so your content always looks amazing. Under the hood of this iPad is the A10 Fusion chip. So that means that this iPad is up to two times faster than that top-selling PC. And for the very first time, our new most popular iPad features the smart connector. So you can effortlessly connect the optional full-size smart keyboard, which delivers a great typing experience in a thin and light design that also folds into a protective cover. And we're especially excited that this iPad was engineered to take full advantage of iPad OS. iPad OS is packed with an enormous breadth of new features designed for iPad's unique capabilities, including the redesigned home screen. Powerful new ways to work with multiple apps, deeper integration with Apple Pencil, desktop class browsing with Safari, and so much more. iPad OS truly expands what you can do with this iPad, so let's take it for a quick spin. First, let's talk about multitasking. With iPad OS, it's never been easier to get to your favorite apps. You can quickly switch between multiple apps and slide over, or fan them out to pick the one you want. or you can swipe along the bottom to get between multiple spaces. You can even use the same app, like Notes, across multiple spaces and paired with different apps. It's perfect for working on multiple projects. Safari brings desktop class browsing to iPad. So now you can create a website in Squarespace or edit your documents in Google Docs right in Safari. And with a simple Simple pinch on the soft keyboard, a new floating keyboard appears. Gives you more room for your content and a great, great one-handed typing experience. It's awesome. iPad OS enables new workflows on iPad. So now you can even connect your SD card or your thumb drive to quickly browse your photos and videos right in the Files app. And you have a whole new video editing experience with powerful new tools in the new Enhanced Photos app. You can add filters and effects. You could even crop and rotate your video. And there's some great new ways to use Apple Pencil. Simply swipe up from the bottom corner to capture a screenshot, or choose the new full page option to create a PDF of a full web page or your document. And from there, you can mark it up with your notes and share it all without ever putting the pencil down. And there's so much more to iPad, including our awesome new services. I mean, gaming on the iPad was already awesome, but now it's even better because of Apple Arcade. You can't get anything like this on any other device. Or just lean back and enjoy all that amazing Apple TV Plus content. And as Tim just told you, you seem to like it, uh, you even get one year of Apple TV Plus included for free. We think the combination of iPad OS, our new service offerings, this new iPad hardware is simply incredible. So this is the new 7th generation iPad, 10.2 inch retina display, support for Apple Pencil and a full size smart keyboard, and as you would expect, great cameras, sensors, and ultra fast wireless, all packed into a thin and light design that's durable and weighs about a pound. And for the very first time, our enclosure is made from 100% recycled aluminum. <laughs> Thank you.
We're really proud that we can continue to expand our environmental achievements for this, our most popular iPad. We're also proud that with all these enhancements, this new iPad will start at just $329. And when you think about all the things this iPad can do, we can't think of another device that delivers this much value. And for our education customers, it's even more affordable at $299. And you can, well, there you, there you go. Uh, you can order it today, and it will start shipping at the end of the month. It really has been a big year for iPad. This new iPad joins the new iPad Mini, iPad Air, and iPad Pros, all taken further than ever before with iPad OS. So that's the news for iPad, now back to Tim. Thanks, Jaws. This new iPad will enable so many more people to experience the power and versatility of iPad. Now, next up, let's talk about Apple Watch. Apple Watch puts groundbreaking health, fitness, and communications capabilities onto the wrist of millions and millions of people. Today, Apple Watch is everywhere, and it's making a difference in so many ways all over the world. We hear firsthand every day about the truly personal and profound impacts that the Apple Watch is having on people's lives. So we made a video for you this morning to share just some of these stories with you. Dear Mr. Cook. Dear Apple. Dear Tim. To T. Cook at Apple.com. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Hey, good morning. Nice to meet you. Okay, hello. <laughs> so the run began as usual. I was 32 weeks pregnant. Getting ready to go to bed. The next morning I'd have notifications on my watch on my phone saying, your heart rate is elevated. And I was like, huh. huh. That's strange. And I run my EKG and it says 220 beats. And I'm like, something's not right. I told my husband, like, we need to go. He was like, well, I'm in the middle of cutting grass. I'm like, we need to go. And then suddenly I woke up to EMTs. Oh, this is my husband, Kyle. Hey. <laughs> hey. He's going out to cut the grass. When I fell, it automatically called 911, and then it calls my wife. When I think about what happened, and what could have happened. Once we got to the hospital, they realized it was some sort of infection. My heart rate was spiking, and it was causing the baby's heart rate to get lower and lower. So, emergency C-section, and she was born. Had I not had surgery, it estimated that I would have had a heart attack within less than 12 months. I mean, like, I'm like, yeah, I have goosebumps. I don't know if you can see them through, like, the camera. It's crazy. It's not something you think of your watch Ooh. saving your life. Can you wave hi? In the past, I didn't prioritize taking care of myself. Yeah, so these are probably one of the largest pairs of pants I have. I'm standing in one of the legs of them. But now I've gained the ability to be active in ways that I never would have dreamed of. All because the computer on my wrist told me it was time to fill the rings. Yeah, closing rings. It's like this little reminder going, okay, you could do a little better today. When I see the little rings of like, get your moves in today, um, sometimes I used to be like, mind your business, Apple Watch. But then it's like, you know what? I do need to get my move in. I like the idea of achievements that you get for every small things done. It has, I just reminded me I should stand up, by the way. I'm the blur. He's the blur. Yeah, that's his nickname is the blur. Harrison is on the autism spectrum and he's on the cross country and track teams here at the school. He was having some issues with anxiety and crowd noise. The sound of the cheering just throws me off. So I paired up my watch with my headphones and the music helps me focus. When he started running with the music playing, it was like seeing a different athlete. This moment of triumph, goosebumps and tears, and it was cinematic. Apple needs to know this happened. 
what you did in your brainstorming sessions came to life and helped save mine. Dear Tim. Dear Apple. Dear Mr. Cook. I just had to tell my story. I will be forever grateful. I had no idea that one day it would save my life. What I want to say is thank you. 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 It is it's truly inspiring to see the difference that the Apple Watch is making. They, the, hearing these stories really make my heart sing. And these are just a few of the amazing stories that I get every day. Now, in addition to helping individuals, Apple Watch is having an impact on another important area that affects all of us, and that is health research. We're excited about how Apple Watch can make a tremendous difference in this area, and to tell you more about it, I'd like to invite Sumble to the stage. Sumble. Thanks, Tim. What makes the amazing stories you just saw even possible are the incredible capabilities built into Apple Watch, each one requiring extensive development and research. This deep focus on science is the foundation of many of our product features, especially the ones focused on health. For example, the irregular heart rhythm notification was developed from the, using the data from the largest study ever focused on atrial fibrillation. Over 400,000 people participated in the Apple Heart Study, and this showed for the first time that a smartwatch could help in the early detection of AFib. It transformed how we look at cardiovascular science. We were so encouraged that today we are announcing three new health research studies, starting with the Apple Hearing Study. Since Apple Watch is on you all the time and can now measure sound levels in your environment, this study will analyze how your daily sound exposure impacts your long-term hearing health. For this study, we're working with the experts at the University of Michigan and the World Health Organization. For our second study, we're using the new cycle tracking feature that we introduced in June. The Apple Women's Health Study focuses on an area that hasn't received much attention in many years. It'll look at how menstrual cycles can inform the screening for important conditions like infertility and osteoporosis. For this novel study, we're partnering with the Harvard School of Public Health and the NIH. Finally. The Apple Heart and Movement Study will look at how metrics from Apple Watch can serve as early warning signs and help create innovative interventions to improve overall health. For this study, we're so excited to be partnering with the American Heart Association and the cardiovascular experts at the Brigham and Women's Hospital. <laughs> if you would like to participate in this research and make a contribution to potential medical discoveries, you can enroll using the new Apple Research app, where you can enroll, perform tasks, and view your data. Of course, you decide what data you want to share and with whom. Apple cannot access any information that directly identifies you. The new Apple Research app will be available in the US later this year. Now, back to Tim. Thank you, Sambo. We're really excited about the impact the research app can have. It gives us, all of us, an amazing opportunity to participate in health research that could lead to innovations to improve our health and the health of future generations. So I hope that you check it out. Since the beginning, innovation has been the core of the Apple Watch. Innovations that really matter to people, from the life-changing to the potentially life savings, Many of these technologies were barely imaginable just a few years ago. Apple Watch has become the most advanced and most loved smartwatch in the world. And to tell you all about what's next with the Apple Watch, I'd like to invite up Stan Ng. Stan. Thanks, Tim. We want to make Apple Watch even better for all the things you do and places you go. And so today, 
I'm so excited to share with you the next generation of Apple Watch. There's something in the way you make me. Introducing Apple Watch Series 5, featuring an innovative new display that is always on. <laughs> the new always on retina display never sleeps, so the watch face is always visible. With previous models of Apple Watch, when you lowered your wrist, the display would go completely dark. But now, with Series 5, you'll always be able to see your time and complications. A wrist raise or a tap brings everything back to full brightness. Now, the new always-on display is just loaded with advanced technologies, so I want to tell you about it. It all starts with the industry's only low-temperature polysilicon and oxide display, or LTPO. LTPO allows the display to refresh dynamically from as high as 60 hertz to as low as 1 hertz, which is extremely power efficient. There's also a new low power display driver, an ultra efficient power management integrated circuit, and a new ambient light sensor, which all work seamlessly together. By combining this incredible hardware with innovative software, we're able to deliver this always on display while still maintaining the same all day 18 hour battery life. <laughs> Now, all of the watch faces have been carefully tuned for the new display, so you'll always be able to see your time and your complications. We've also optimized the screens for all of the workouts in the workout apps, so you'll be able to see your workout metrics without raising your wrist. This always-on display is perfect for those times when you can't raise your wrist or tap the display. Or when you're in a social or work setting where you kind of want to just sneak a quick glance at the time, right? <laughs> <laughs> or when you're in the middle of a crazy hard workout where a wrist raise just isn't possible. The new always-on display is going to be useful for so many different situations throughout the day. We can't wait for you to try it. Next, let's talk about another new feature in Series 5, a built-in compass. Now, with the updated Maps app, you'll be able to see which way you're facing, just like on your iPhone. You can add the compass to your watch face, so you can see your direction at a glance. And there's even a new Compass app, which allows you to see not only your heading, but also your latitude, longitude, current elevation, and incline. Now, our developers can take advantage of the Compass as well. So the direction is always clear when you're hiking with Wikilope paddleboarding with Ghosts Up, or searching out the constellations with night sky. Next, let's talk about safety features. Apple Watch has some important safety features built right in, like fall detection, emergency SOS, medical ID. Now, emergency SOS could be life-saving should you ever need it. And so we wanted to make it even more capable. Now, with Series 5, every cellular model has international emergency calling. So you can call emergency services in over 150 countries around the world just by pressing and holding down the side button, even without your iPhone. <laughs> we think this will give you great peace of mind if you ever travel internationally. Next. Another important benefit of Apple Watch is being able to express your personal style. And Series 5 has the widest assortment of case finishes ever. Aluminum models come in silver, gold, and space gray. And now the cases are made from 100% recycled aluminum. <laughs> it's 
Stainless steel models come in gold, space black, and polished. And we're introducing new models for the first time in titanium. This natural brushed titanium maintains its color through a special surface treatment that Apple custom engineered. And there's also a second model in titanium in this brushed space black with a diamond-like coating. Series 5 will be available in ceramic as well in this brilliant white color. <laughs> Thank you. It's really beautiful. There are new Apple Watch Nike models featuring new Nike sport bands, new reflective sport loops, and cool new Nike watch faces. And there are new Hermes models and these beautiful color block bands with a classic Hermes print. Aren't they cool? This year, we're also introducing Hermes models in black, featuring space black stainless steel cases, featuring handcrafted noir leather bands. Oh, these are just stunning. Of course, every Apple Watch is designed and manufactured in the most environmentally friendly way possible. We're so excited about Apple Watch Series 5, with its always-on display, compass, international emergency calling, and all the other great features, like it's swim-proof. You can take an ECG, fall detection, Apple Pay, all the new features of Watch OS 6. It truly is the most capable Apple Watch ever. Series 5 GPS models will start at just $399. and $4.99 for cellular models. You'll be able to order Series 5 starting today, right after the keynote. And they'll be available in our stores starting September 20th. We're also keeping the very popular Series 3 in the line. Series 3 is a great watch. It has GPS, heart rate sensor, it's swim-proof, the new features of WatchOS 6, and now starting at a low price of just $199. And that's Apple Watch. Thank you. Back to you, Tim. Thank you, Stan. I'm really excited about this new Apple Watch lineup. And with all of the new amazing features, Apple Watch is going to enable you to do even more than before. We created a fun video to demonstrate just this, and I'd love to play it for you now. This? Watch tells time and takes phone calls. This watch tells time and turns on lights and opens up doors. This watch tells time and communicates with satellites 12,427 miles above the Earth. It wakes you up and gets you onto subways, and plays every Elton John studio album hey Siri, play Tumbleweed Connection. ever recorded. Play Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Play Mad Men Across the Water. This watch tells time, and sets timers, and sets your pace, and warns you when it's too loud, and texts your friends, and opens portals Kidding. And tracks your distance underwater. And starts competitions. And accepts challenges. And tracks your workouts. And tells you which direction you should be going. And reminds you to breathe. And has an app that measures the exact timing of the electrical waves traveling through the upper and lower chambers of your heart, otherwise known as an electrocardiogram. So in conclusion, just to reiterate, this watch tells time, among other things. I love that video. 
I love that video. It really helps you understand so many of the amazing things that the watch can do. Next up, let's talk about iPhone. <laughs> iPhone and the incredible capabilities that it puts into people's hands has changed the way we live our lives in ways that we never could have imagined. It's become so essential for hundreds and hundreds of millions of people all over the world. It's changed industries and led to the creation of entirely new ones, and it's made a profound impact on all of our daily lives. Customers love iPhone, and we keep striving to make it better and better. Last year, we launched three incredible iPhones. The iPhone XR became the most popular iPhone and the most popular smartphone in the world. We also launched the iPhone XS and the iPhone XS Max, the most advanced iPhones we had ever created. These three iPhones together have a combined 99% customer satisfaction. This is the highest in the industry. It's really unbelievable. Customers love iPhone because we focus on technologies that matter most in their lives. Today, I am thrilled to share with you the newest iPhone. iPhone 11, the next generation of iPhone, and it is jam-packed with great new capabilities and an incredible new design. To tell you all about iPhone 11, I'd like to invite Cayenne to the stage. Cayenne? Thank you, Tim. The innovations in iPhone 11 are truly remarkable, and that starts with the design iPhone 11 has a beautiful anodized aluminum and glass design. And that glass, it's the toughest ever in a smartphone, on the front and back. And the glass that surrounds the camera has a sculpted 3D geometry, and it was precision milled down from a single piece of glass to achieve this elegant look. iPhone 11 comes in six new colors with an all new purple, white, yellow, green, black, and product red. It has a 6.1 inch liquid retina display with true tone, wide color, tap to wake, and haptic touch in even more places with iOS 13, like contextual menus. Now videos are wonderful to watch on this display. And now we have spatial audio, which provides an immersive theater-like experience by creating a sound field around you using an Apple design virtualizer. And we support Dolby Atmos for an incredible sound experience. Now let's talk about camera. iPhone is the world's most popular camera and it gets even better with iPhone 11. We have an amazing dual camera system with an all new wide camera, with a new sensor with 100% focus pixels for faster autofocus, three times faster in low light. And we have a new ultra wide camera with 120 degree field of view. This will let you capture way more in your photos and videos. Because now you can take a wide camera shot like this, but switch to the ultra wide to reveal the scale. <laughs> yes. You can now see the beautiful framing by Mother Nature, but the details still are there in the sky, the rocks, and the sand. This is doing an optical zoom out 2x, so you can capture way more without moving. So now, when you're taking a wide camera shot, 
you'll see our new immersive camera interface that lets you see outside the frame, hinting at a bigger shot. Then you can simply tap to switch to the ultra-wide, revealing more of your scene. This is great for these epic landscape shots where you can see edge to edge all this detail. And it's also great for tight spaces where you can't physically back up, but the ultra-wide lets you do that, revealing more of your story. You can use an angle like this to take a heroic and dynamic shot, because the ultra-wide can elongate your subject. It keep all these details sharp from her red dress all the way to her face. Now, these are some examples of great ultra-wide photos. We've also updated our image pipeline, which processes over a trillion operations per photo. And it's got our image signal processor, and it has our neural engine for machine learning. And now we've added semantic rendering. This allows us to more intelligently detect subjects and relight them with detail so they look even better. Now, we use this across your photos, including in our next-gen smart HDR. You can see the gorgeous smile in her warm face accentuated by the backlit sun. Now, we're using multi-scale tone mapping so we can treat highlights differently in different parts of the image depending on what's best for them. Now, it works here in portrait mode, and people love taking portraits on iPhone 11. And iPhone 11 has this wide angle camera, so you can take these beautiful wide shots of portraits for people. But now with two cameras, we have stereoscopic depth. So now you can also take portraits of your favorite pets. <laughs> and you can also use creative depth of field for shots like this. Now we have a new portrait lighting effect, and that's high key mono. You can take a stunning studio quality portrait like this from a pretty ordinary background. All right, let's talk about night mode. This is for those very low light environments, like outdoors at night or inside a dimly lit restaurant. And night mode comes on automatically when it's dark enough to brighten photos and reduce noise. Here's an image with night mode turned off. Here it is with night mode turned on. We determine the image fusion time and use adaptive bracketing based on what we see in preview. So shorter frames if you have subject motion or longer frames if you have deep shadows to recover them. Then we intelligently fuse images together, reducing motion and blur. All right, we know you love taking videos and you're capturing more than ever on iPhone. So I'm really excited to show you the first video shot on iPhone 11 entirely on our wide and ultra wide cameras. One, two, three. just astounding. That was shot in 4K resolution, and all the shots, including the ones overhead, were handheld. So it's making use of our even better cinematic video stabilization. So when taking video, you can easily tap to switch to the ultra-wide camera to capture even more in your scene. You can also use the zoom wheel to just transition easily between the two cameras. <laughs> now we make it great to capture in all the formats you love because we support 4K resolution up to 60 frames per second, slow-mo, time-lapse, cinematic video stabilization, and now extended dynamic range at 4K up to 60 frames per second. And this is across both cameras, which is pretty cool. We also wanted to make it easier for you to take a quick video with quick take. So now when you're taking photos and you decide you want to take a quick video, simply tap and hold the shutter button to record a video. You can do that without changing frames. <laughs> so 
that video really shines on iPhone 11. In fact, it has the highest quality video ever in a smartphone. This is enabled by our real-time processing across our camera hardware, our software, our video encoders, and our chip. So that's the amazing dual camera system on iPhone 11 with a new wide and ultra wide for 2x optical zoom out, night mode, a brighter flash, next gen smart HDR, and the highest quality video. It will change the way you take your photos and videos. We've also updated our front true depth camera to a wider 12 megapixel sensor. So now you can still take your seven megapixel selfies as you normally would, but simply rotate to landscape to capture even more people using that wider sensor. Also on the front camera, we've added 4K video with extended dynamic range up to 30 frames per second. And you can also capture on the front at 4K 60 as well. Now we've also added slow motion video to the front camera for the first time. Now we think this is gonna be really fun, so fun that we created a little ad about it and we couldn't resist showing you. Okay, so we want this to inspire you to go take some awesome slow fees because we can't wait to see them. <laughs> All right, now so much of our great camera is also enabled by performance. And iPhone 11 has leading performance for your everyday to the most demanding tasks. In fact, our Apple design chips have led the industry for many years. Ben says, the A12 is so far ahead of the industry that it will still be competitive with the best Android smartphones in two years. Well, now we're introducing the A13 Bionic, the next generation of our industry-leading chip. So if you look at CPU performance, with the iPhone XR's A12 Bionic chip, it still leads the pack in terms of the latest smartphones and chips. Well, the A13 Bionic is just gonna extend that lead even further, because the A13 is the fastest CPU ever in a smartphone. And that's great because everything you do every day from morning till night makes use of the chip. So what about graphics? Well, if you look at the A12 still leading the pack in GPU performance and the A13 Bionic is just gonna get even faster because the A13 Bionic is also the fastest GPU ever in a smartphone. <laughs> and to show you more about that, because this is great for mobile gaming, I'd like to introduce Giant Network. They're the force behind some of the most popular mobile games in China. And now with their studio, Tipsworks, they're preparing to release their first global title. It's called Pascal's Wager, and I'd like to introduce Yang Yang, the founder of Tipsworks. Thank you. We have been working on an exciting action role-playing game. Let's take a look. Pascal's Wager is a dark fantasy action game. They will take on a journey through a massive world. The game happens in a place that's surrounded by internal darkness, and the humans must make a pass by staying close to giants that illuminate. You will notice the fantastical creatures, which look amazing with metal two shaders. Players can select one of four characters and can change throughout to use different scales. Now we've changed it to Benita. 
whose powerful web can take on enemies mid-range. We spend hours recreating the perfect sounds of footsteps, chains, and even blades clashing. Details are clear with the iPhone's spatial audio. Let's watch as Benita fight this monster. As we trail the owl, we see the benefits of poster processing effects, including anti-aliasing and the bloom, which are only possible with the GPU of the new iPhone. with an incredible 60 frames per second of smooth performance, which comes in handy as we keep evil at bay. Speaking of evil, our hero could use some help. We don't want to spoil anything. This is a preview of Pascal's Wager. Pre-order exclusively on the App Store next month. Thank you. So I just have to say how remarkable it is that a game like that with those kinds of phenomenal graphics can run on a small and powerful chip in the palm of your hand with A13 Bionic. So just kudos to that and our incredible silicon engineers. We can't wait to see Pascal's wager and what else other developers will come up with with the A13. All right, so battery. We know that battery life is really important to customers. And last year with the iPhone XR, we already had the longest battery life in an iPhone ever. And it was a big leap, and our customers loved it. So with the advancements in iPhone 11, it'll still have an hour more in battery than in your iPhone XR for incredible <laughs> battery life. The advances in iPhone 11 really touch areas that customers experience every day. This is innovation that matters. Powerful dual camera system, night mode, and things we didn't even have time to talk about, like faster face ID, water and dust resistance, wireless charging, Wi-Fi 6, and more. We think customers will love iPhone 11, and we've created a really fun video all about it.
iPhone 11 offers so much meaningful innovation, and we want even more people to experience it. So we're really excited to offer iPhone 11 at just $6.99. We think this is an amazing phone that everyone will love. Thank you, and now back to Tim. Thank you, Cayenne. The new iPhone 11 is simply amazing. We designed it with our customers in mind, and it will impact their lives in meaningful ways every day. But we didn't stop there. For our customers, that want the most sophisticated technology that really pushes the limits, we've created something truly special. And I'm thrilled to introduce it to you now. Pro, and these are the most powerful and most advanced iPhones that we have ever built in a stunning new design. I'd like to invite Phil up to tell you all about them. Phil! Well, thank you, Tim, and good morning, everyone. How are you doing out there? Well, this is the first phone that we've called Pro. And for us, that means it's a device that pros can count on to get their work done. But it's also a product for all of us who want simply the best product made, even if we're not a pro. So let's talk all about it. We'll start with this incredible, stunning new pro design. This is the most advanced and detailed iPhone we've made yet. It's made of a surgical grade stainless steel. The back is a single piece of machine glass with an optical PVD coating. It is a beautiful new matte textured finish that looks great and feels awesome in your hand. iPhone 11 Pro comes in some gorgeous new finishes. This is an all new midnight green. There's a very pro space gray, a beautiful silver, and a new gold. These are incredible. All right, let's talk about this Pro Display. It comes in two sizes, 5.8 inches and 6.5 inches. They have the highest pixel density of any display Apple makes. Our Super Retina display is the most advanced we've ever built into an iPhone. It's a new OLED panel that has two million to one contrast ratio. P3, wide color, true tone, haptic touch, and now a much brighter up to 1200 nits. That's incredibly bright while also being 15% more energy efficient. Now, this incredible new display has a level of brightness, contrast ratio, color, and detail. But really, it's the experience that we're building into the new display for the Mac Pro. We call that the Pro Display XDR. And now that experience is being built into an iPhone. In addition to that, it has the spatial audio sound that Cayenne told you about. It has HDR10, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. So we decide it's worthy of a new name. We call it the Super Retina XDR Display. <laughs> All right, let's talk about performance, a pro level performance. As you know, our A series chips have kept Apple ahead of the industry for years now. And the A13 Bionic is going to extend that lead. Well, to tell you, even more about the A13 Bionic, I'm really excited to bring up Sri Samthanam. He's our Vice President of Silicon Engineering. 
Shri. Thank you, Phil. Hello, everyone. Our engineering team at Apple has been designing chips for iPhone for over a decade. And today, I'm excited to talk to you about A13 Bionic, our latest creation. And we have touched everything. Now at Apple, we have the benefit of owning the entire vertical stack, the software, the system hardware, and the chip design. And we work together to optimize every block on the chip, all the way from the transistor up through the package design to work efficiently for iOS and iPhone. We've touched so many things and improved so many things in the A13 Bionic, but today I'd like to talk to you about two specific improvements, machine learning and low power design. First, machine learning. We use machine learning all throughout iPhone. And in our chips, our CPU, GPU, and neural engine are all optimized for different types of machine learning workloads. And in A13 Bionic, we made them all faster for ML, particularly the CPU. It, we added brand new machine learning accelerators in our CPUs. These accelerators are built to run matrix multiplication very fast. That's an operation that's used frequently in ML computation. These dedicated accelerators allow the CPU to process matrix math operations up to 6x faster, making the CPU capable of over 1 trillion operations per second. Now, as developers experiment on the bleeding edge of ML, the CPU can accelerate these nascent evolving models. In addition, the chip works as our latest generation of the Apple-designed machine learning controller, so that ML models can be automatically and seamlessly scheduled on the CPU, GPU, and neural engine, balancing efficiency and performance. Together with iPhone 11 Pro, this creates a fully integrated platform where developers can do some incredible things, like natural language processing, image classification in photos and videos, and character animation and people occlusion in AR apps. All of this makes iPhone 11 Pro the best machine learning platform in any smartphone. <laughs> the second thing I'd like to talk to you today about is how we lowered the power of the A13 Bionic. It is our most efficient chip to date. And here are a few reasons why. First, it starts with the transistors, the fundamental building blocks of our chips. An A13 Bionic uses an advanced, improved, second generation, seven nanometer transistor, the most advanced in the industry. And we carefully tailored each transistor for high performance and low power. And we did this with over eight and a half billion transistors. <laughs> That's the most we've ever put into any iPhone chip. But it's not just the sheer volume of transistors. To get both high performance and low power, you need great architecture. One example of that is our high, Apple architected high efficiency CPU cores. These cores are the most efficient place to run lightweight tasks and powerful enough to use most of the time, giving you great battery life. Finally, at the design level, we apply many, many low power design techniques to increase the efficiency of our design. For example, we have hundreds of voltage domains on the chip, so we light up only the sections of the chip that need to function at any given time. But that's not all. We have hundreds of thousands of clock gating domains, so we only turn on the smallest amount of logic in the chip, dramatically reducing power. The result is our highest performing, mo highest performing most efficient design ever. All of our cores, CPU, GPU, and neural engine are all up to 20% faster. In addition, at the same time as we move performance up, for those applications and tasks that don't need more performance in the A12, we were able to reduce the power of all our engines, for example, our GPU, by up to 40%. All of this translates to great performance and battery life for our customers. And in addition, combined with the thermal design of the iPhone 11 Pro, we have our best sustained performance ever. And that's A13 Bionic. It is our most efficient, most performant chip we have ever built for iPhone. We can't wait for our customers and developers to see it in action. Thank you, and back to Phil. Yeah. Well, thank you, Sri. So, what has our team done to help the battery keep up with this incredible level of pro performance? Well, we are so excited to tell you that with iPhone 11 Pro, you now get up to four hours longer in your day. And 
with iPhone 11 Pro Max up to five hours longer in your day. And we're also including our fast charge 18 watt adapter in the box so you can charge them all faster too. So, I know, I know what you're waiting for, I am too. Let's talk about the cameras. <laughs> now question, my favorite part about iPhone. This is the first iPhone that we've had, a camera system that we call Pro. And it's really worthy of this name. So what does it have? First, it has a new wide camera that has a fast f1.8 aperture and focus pixels that cover 100% of the sensor. It is a new telephoto camera with a larger f2.0 aperture. It lets in 40% more light and has a new ultra-wide camera with a super-wide 120-degree field of view and a tremendous range of focus across the entire image. Now, all these work together with the A13 Bionic chip and its new generation image signal processor, and that enables a whole new level of photography, pro photography, and it, you're just gonna love it. So let's, let's go into one of the, some of the things it does. First, with the telephoto camera, and the ultra wide, you have the ability to zoom in two times and zoom out two times. That's a 4x optical zoom range. With these three cameras, you have incredible creative control. So for example, you can use the telephoto and get in close on your subject to really zoom in on it. Or you can use the wide to tell a bit more of a story. Or you can pull all the way out to the ultra wide and reveal the full surroundings. And you can take all three shots from one Vantage point. Now, we've given iPhone 11 Pro to some pro photographers to use to see what they can do with this incredible new camera system. And first, they absolutely love it, and they are excited to share with you some of the photos they've taken. So we've picked from all the incredible shots they've taken, six, we're gonna go through six shots that pros have taken to show you some of the different cameras and what's possible and they're just stunning. And here's a perfect one to start with. Look at this image. It is shot with a wide camera, shot by Jordy Wood, shot it in a perfect named place for this photo, Peekaboo Canyon in Kanab, Utah. That's just the awesome name for this. Look at the eye, the detail in the eye, the, the details in the eyelashes, the incredible skin tones. This is a great photo show, the power of this new camera system. Here's another shot, very different kind of shot, also taken with that wide camera. This was shot by Jake Michaels in LA. You can see he caught a moment frozen in time, the fast shutter speed, and capture the light just bouncing off those frozen water droplets. And it uses our black and white pro level image filter, which gives incredible tonal grayscale to it. All right, now let's switch over to the telephoto. Here's an incredible shot taken by Francesca Allen out in Malibu. Just see incredible image clarity, Stunning environment, skin tones are beautiful, shot by natural light. And that's just the natural depth of field of that aperture with F1.8, F2.0, it is amazing. And the blues of the sky and the water, just stunning. So now let's look at a portrait mode shot of the telephoto camera. It's very different than, than, than what you would take. This is backlit, a backlit portrait mode telephoto shot by Jack, Jake Michaels. And you just see the incredible silhouette but so much detail in the hair. Look at the blue and gold backlit, just so, such vibrant colors, a stunning image. All right, now let's look at a photo taken with our new ultra-wide camera. Jake Michaels took this down in Venice Beach over a skateboard park. How did he take this? Got up on a cherry picker, 50 feet above the ground. I think many of us would, would be a little nervous doing that, but, but for us he did it. Took a shot down with the wide angle, the super wide camera just see this incredible abstract image, looks stunning. The focus is incredible because of the depth of focus of that camera. All right, one more example. This is shot with the ultra wide by Kiara Zonka, shot this in Arizona. See this amazing contrast between the lights and the darks and the midtones. The sky, the landscape is just surreal. This is just this otherworldly kind of shot that we'd all love to get. So those are six examples of photos using the three cameras. That would, what pros can do if you put it in their hands with their incredible talent, it's amazing stuff. Well now what we want to do, yep, let's talk. Now we want to give you a sneak peek 
of a new feature coming in the camera that will be available with a software update this fall, but it's so cool we have to tell you about it. It's using the neural engine of the A13 Bionic to create a whole brand new kind of image processing system. We call it Deep Fusion, and this is so cool. So the, to tell you what it's doing, I'm gonna do that while we look at an image. So this is a photo that was shot on an iPhone 11 Pro using this Deep Fusion technology. And this kind of an image would not have been possible before. We use machine learning to take this photo in low to medium light, and it's unlike anything possible with an iPhone camera before. So what, what is it doing? How do we get an image like this? All right, you ready for this? What it does, it shoots nine images. Before you press the shutter button, it's already shot four short images, four secondary images. When you press the shutter button, it takes one long exposure. And then in just one second, the neural engine analyzes the fused combination of long and short images, picking the best among them, selecting all the pixels, and pixel by pixel, going through 24 million pixels to optimize for detail and low noise, like you see in the sweater there. It is amazing. This is the first time a neural engine is responsible for generating the output image. It is computational photography mad science. It is way <laughs> cool. All right, now let's talk about video. iPhone 11 Pro is a powerful new video camera system. All three cameras shoot 4K, 60 frame a second, extended dynamic range video with beautiful highlights and shadow details. So of course, we gave iPhone 11 Pro to a professional cinematographer and director and asked them to take it to a back lot in LA, shoot something, and show us all what's possible with this brand new camera system. And that's what we want to show you now. Incredible. That was not only shot, but also edited entirely on iPhone 11 Pro by director of photography Guillermo Garza and director Diego Contreras. Thank you guys. That is just stunning video. And the team works hard to make sure that you can get consistent image capture across all three video cameras. We actually paired the three cameras right at the factory, calibrating them for color and exposure. And then all the time while you're using them, we actually do some smart things like we, in real time, take data from the camera you're shooting with and prime the other cameras automatically for autofocus, auto exposure, color temperature, even tone mapping. So you can get a smooth transition across all three cameras while we minimize any shifts in color or exposure. And for pros who wanna edit this video quickly on device, now with iOS 13, we have new advanced video editing features built into the Photos app. So you can do things like edit a video for exposure, color temperature, even cropping and scaling right in the palm of your hands. So this is the new camera system in iPhone 11 Pro. We think pros are gonna love it, we're all gonna love it. It is incredible. New wide, ultra wide telephoto cameras, our highest quality video ever, four times optical zoom new smarter HDR, new night mode, on and on. It is an incredible, we even have redesigned the camera app. There's a new font in it called SF Camera. It is so pro, you're gonna love using it. <laughs> now on top of all of this, 
iPhone 11 Pro is really the only Pro camera with a native app ecosystem. The App Store has over 50, excuse me, over 30,000 photo and video apps, so you can do just about anything you can imagine right on device. So a great example of this is Filmic. They make a great app called Filmic Pro that makes it possible for award-winning directors to push the boundaries of what's possible with cinematic filmmaking on iPhone. So we're really honored to invite up their CTO, Christopher Cohen, and along with them, director of acclaimed films, The Florida Project, and Tangerine, the first theatrical trailer shot entirely on iPhone, Sean Baker. Welcome, guys. Thank you, Phil. I shot Tangerine on iPhone using Filmic Pro, and I've been working closely with Chris and the Filmic team ever since. Now, every shot has the right lens. As a filmmaker, it's my job to figure out which lens that is. On set, I use a tool called the Director's Viewfinder. It helps me find a frame and choose focal length. Filmmakers have been doing it like this for nearly 75 years. But what if you could use what we're all going to have in our pockets? We're delighted to preview the next version of Filmic Pro. It's going to move filmmaking forward. Let's take a look at the next generation of lens selection. We've divided the viewfinder into individual feeds, visualizing every field of view available on the new iPhone. With the new A13 and the higher sustained performance of the new iPhone, you can shoot with our most complex pot capture pipeline up to five times longer than before. But now you can shoot with multiple cameras at the same time, giving filmmakers even more options. And I love that because it's totally transformative. With two cameras rolling in Filmic Pro, I get twice as much coverage on the same take, reducing my number of takes and giving me more options in post. To facilitate that, we employ a compound overlay representing the primary and secondary cameras. While both are being recorded simultaneously, I can focus in on my A cam to compose or back up to see my widest field of view. I'm always excited when I see evolution in filmmaking style and craft and this multicam feature will give me new creative options for covering scenes, such as how I would approach the traditional shot reverse shot. That's right, Sean. We can even couple this incredible ultra-wide camera with the front-facing camera. This enables me to capture the organic and intimate interaction between two individuals in one unbroken take with a single unobtrusive device. So I can literally take the audience and slap them right in the middle of a conversation. It's not only incredible for narrative storytelling, it will be wonderful for documentaries and journalism as well. The ability to record multiple videos, this amazing sustained performance, and this incredible ultra-wide lens, it's all in one device. It's gonna change this industry. The all-new Filmic Pro will be available later this year, only in the App Store. Thank you. Thank you, Christopher and Sean. So this is iPhone 11 Pro. In addition to the triple camera system, A13 Bionic, longer battery life, faster charging, new designs. There's also faster cellular, better water resistance, stronger glass, and so much more. We think this is the most exciting iPhone we've made yet. We've made a video to tell you just a little bit more about it. Introducing iPhone 11 Pro. Every detail has been used as an opportunity to set new standards in design, quality, and engineering, ensuring it will deliver uncompromising performance in any situation. At the core of the iPhone 11 Pro design is a stainless steel structural band and a three-dimensional glass back made from the toughest glass in a smartphone. It's sculpted from a single solid sheet reinforced down to the atomic level, and then brought to life in one of four textured matte finishes. The enclosure is designed to withstand what life can throw at it. Rigorous testing and refining have helped create a durable, dust, and water-resistant iPhone. The Apple-designed A13 Bionic chip 
is the most ambitious to date. It's the fastest chip ever in a smartphone, yet more efficient than ever. And with new optimized batteries that give you up to five extra hours in your day, you get more pro performance in an iPhone for longer than ever. The triple camera system combines cutting edge technology with the extraordinary ease of iPhone. The redesigned camera interface complements the new hardware with a more immersive and intuitive experience. Telephoto, wide, and new ultra-wide cameras. You can now view four times more seen in your photos and videos with the ultra-wide. All new night mode allows you to capture images never before possible on an iPhone in drastically lower light. The highest quality video in a smartphone is now even better. With extended dynamic range now at 4K at 60 FPS, you can record pro quality video at twice as many frames per second. Editing tools previously reserved for photos now make editing your videos a pro level experience. Perfect and then play back your footage on the new Super Retina XDR display that has the highest pixel density of any Apple device. Privacy is built into every iPhone from the ground up. From iOS 13 to Face ID, the most secure facial authentication in a smartphone, which now works from greater angles and is even faster. This new line of iPhone has been pushed to extremes like never before, ensuring that each part is worthy of the name iPhone 11 Pro. So iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 are made to be designed free from these harmful materials and of course to reduce their impact on the environment. And this is so important to us. So I bring it up every time. We want to keep pushing the boundaries of this iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro are our most advanced phones. I think everyone's going to want to show them off. And some people like to protect them with cases. So we have a new line of cases for them as well, including clear cases for all three models. So you can show off your beautiful new finishes. So iPhone 11 Pro will start at $999 and iPhone 11 Pro Max at just $100 more at $1099. You can pre-order all of them starting this Friday at a new time, 5 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, so if you can get a few more hours of sleep and then get in line to pre-order. They'll all start shipping on September 20th. So this is our lineup of three new iPhones starting at $699, $999, and $1099. In addition to that, we're going to keep iPhone XR in the line starting at just $599, and iPhone 8 at 449. So there's a lot of great options for people at all different price points. So that is our news today on iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro. Back to you, Tim. Thanks, Phil. With breakthrough technologies and advanced capabilities, the all new iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max are just beyond incredible. And of course, the best place to learn more about these and get your hands on them are in our amazing retail stores. And to tell you all about what's going on at retail, I'd like to introduce you to Deirdre O'Brien. Deirdre. Thanks so much, Tim. I would love to start this update on Apple Retail by giving a huge shout out to our retail team members all around the world. <laughs> the customer truly is at the center of everything that we do. And thanks to our passionate teams, there really is no better place to see this in action than in our stores. Today, we'd love to share two ways we're making the experience even better. Let's start with personalization. Apple Retail has always been the best place to help you customize and personalize your products. And now we're going to take it even further with Apple Watch. Currently, we offer a wide selection of watches where we choose and pair the cases with the bands. With Apple Watch Series 5, we're thrilled to announce the all-new Apple Watch Studio, where you choose and pair any case 
with any band to create exactly the watch that you want. The Apple Watch Studio Experience is available in our stores and online. And with so many different combinations, there are nearly a thousand different ways to represent your own personal style. Now, next, we'd love to talk about Apple Trade-In. I'd love to show you how it works. You just saw all of this great news about our new iPhones. And now you can use your current iPhone as credit towards a new iPhone. And because we know many of our customers prefer to pay by month, we're pleased to offer low monthly payments in a number of our countries. <laughs> Apple Trade-In makes your new iPhone even more affordable. And because we reuse and recycle, it's great for the planet. Now, those are just two of the services that we offer. There is so much more, so much, and the entire store experience is brought to life by our amazing teams and the care that they have for our customers. This deep care, along with our incredible collection of products, services, and experiences, like today at Apple, are designed to delight and are available only at Apple. Now, finally, our stores are the best place for a celebration. So on September 20th, the same day our new iPhones and Apple Watches arrive, we're thrilled to be hosting our biggest store reopening ever, Apple Fifth Avenue. <laughs> the newly expanded public plaza is going to be a wonderful place for the community to gather. And inside, everything's been completely transformed. We've dramatically increased the height, and we've nearly doubled the size making it our largest in the world. Apple Fifth Avenue has a special place in our hearts, and we can't wait to welcome you back. That's a quick update on retail. Back to you, Tim. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Deirdre. I am so proud of our retail team and the unique experience they deliver to our customers every day. They are amazing. And I'm especially thrilled that the iconic Fifth Avenue store is reopening. I hope to see all of you there on September 20th. <laughs> what an exciting morning. I hope you guys have had as much fun as I have. <laughs> yes. We, we shared the all new Apple Arcade, a game subscription service unlike any other, coming to the App Store this month and Apple TV Plus with powerful and unique Apple originals from today's most creative storytellers coming to the Apple TV app beginning November 1st. And the new iPad bringing a 10.2 inch retina display, support for Apple Pencil and Smart Keyboard, and the power of iPad OS to more people than ever before. The new Apple Watch Series 5 with its always on retina display, Compass, new finishes, and the amazing new features of watchOS 6. The new iPhone 11, with its new dual camera system, powerful A13 chip, beautiful new finishes, and incredible capabilities. And of course, the stunning new iPhone 11 Pro with its jam-packed with advanced technologies designed to enable people to do even more than before. Our mission at Apple has always been to design products that empower people and enrich people's lives, to put technologies in your hands and to see all of the wonderful things that you'll do with them. We couldn't be more proud of the products and the services that we shared with you this morning. For those of you here today with us, we'd like to invite you to experience them first uh, in the hands-on area upstairs. And I'd like to thank everyone at Apple for doing the best work of their lives in bringing these products and services to market. And I'd like to thank everyone, thank you. Thank you. And I'd especially like to thank everyone that came out this morning and everyone that tuned in online to watch the keynote this morning. Thank you and have a great day.